was amazing to me to see how well it does perform under actual fire conditions. I think will prove very valuable for future construction. And I'm alive today because of it. We're all trying to do our part for the environment, but is it really possible to make a first-class product from something we throw away? Yes. Seven million tons of newspaper are used each year to make a top-selling product for new home construction, cellulose insulation, manufactured from newspaper and other waste paper fiber. Can it be safe to put newspaper in the walls and attic of a home? The answer may surprise you. Recently, a dramatic home fire demonstration dispelled many of the myths and misconceptions about the combustibility of paper fiber-based insulation. This big burn demonstration was designed and conducted at the Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute under the professional supervision of the Code Consortium and Stephen Winter Associates. The purpose of the demonstration was to compare uh, the uh, fire performance of three buildings, one uninsulated, two insulated, one insulation being fiberglass and the other insulation being uh, fire retardant treated cellulose. Testing the fire resistance and fire blocking qualities of a cellulose, a fiberglass, and an uninsulated home, the Big Burn validated previous laboratory test results. This demonstration is primarily premised on uh, the research that was conducted by the Canadians uh, by an organization called uh, National Research Canada. What it documented was that uh, cellulose had a distinct advantage in uh, providing increased fire resistance over other assemblies, common assemblies such as fiberglass. Using practices compliant with national building codes, the two-story structures used in the Big Burn were built to replicate the most common new home construction practices. Within each structure, two independent channels of thermocouples measured the interior and exterior temperature of key locations, such as the roof and the walls. Using the state-of-the-art technology, technicians were able to monitor temperatures throughout the entire test. Cribs, stacks of wood designed to mimic the contents of a room, were ignited simultaneously in all three buildings. At 23 minutes, the fiberglass and cellulose first floor ceilings, which were not insulated, had collapsed within four minutes of each other, demonstrating a similar progression of fire in both structures. At 32 minutes after ignition, however, the temperatures measured in the attic of each structure recorded a 600 degree difference between the fiberglass and cellulose structures. After 40 minutes, the uninsulated building collapsed. Two and a half minutes later, the fiberglass structure fell. At 67 minutes, over an hour after the fire was ignited, the cellulose structure finally collapsed. The structure insulated with cellulose insulation proved 57% more fire resistant than the structure insulated with fiberglass. This impressive data validates the results of the Canadian laboratory tests. In a real-life situation, 25 minutes of extra fire resistance can make a tremendous difference. Jim West of Hot Springs, Arkansas, knows the difference firsthand. In December 1996, he almost lost his home and his life to a fire. All my friends who are building a house or uh, considering building a house, I always tell them, don't let their contractor use anything but cellulose insulation because it'll save your life if you should unfortunately have a fire. I'm, I'm testimonial to that. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the fact that I had generously insulated my attic with cellulose insulation. The truth about cellulose insulation is surprising. Fiberglass, which eventually melts away from the structural elements of a building, exposes walls and roofs to a fire. Cellulose insulation, however, is treated with a highly effective fire retardant that adds extra protection to structural elements. The cellulose does act as a good insulator and would therefore also keep the heat of the fire within the building. 
However, once the protective uh, gypsum wallboard falls away, the cellulose itself is still remaining in place and, and protects the structural elements. It does not burn through, but rather forms a char layer because of the far retardant effect, so it can stay in place longer. In addition to fire resistance, cellulose insulation has a number of other excellent benefits. Unlike typical bat insulation, cellulose is sprayed into walls and blown into attics, filling in around pipes, wires, and electrical boxes. In this way, the insulation forms a seamless blanket with none of the gaps that can reduce the performance of other types of insulation. And a home with less air infiltration, a cellulose insulated home, is more energy efficient and comfortable. Sound travels the same path as air. Therefore, seamless cellulose insulation provides outstanding sound control. Owners of cellulose insulated homes are pleasantly surprised by all the benefits. Fire resistant, thermal resistant, and sound absorbent. Superior performance and safety. The truth about cellulose insulation is surprisingly good.